Hey guys, so yesterday, or last night I should say, I did a live stream where I basically uh, created a Sonic Girls waifu tier list, you know, off of uh, the tier maker, if you will. And again, I got to give credit to uh, Jawbreaker at Play for Cinema for uh, creating that originally for myself and obviously others afterwards to make our own little list um, of, of Sonic Girls and you know where we rank them if you will uh, when it comes to popularity, favoritism, you know hotness if you will, waifu-ness, whatever you want to call it and I read some of the comments at some of the Facebook group pages and one of them was asking you know is this what our fandom has come to or why is our fandom like this or something like that they were just they were just curious as to why you know the fans um, if you will or the fandom basically the Sonic fan bands, um was doing this and the thing is you know this is nothing really new honestly it's nothing really new for not just the Sonic fan base but for any fan base out there you know whether it's anime and manga whether it's Disney you know uh, whether it's Warner Brothers or anything like that you know this uh, it, it's, it's nothing you know it's nothing really new honestly it's nothing it's nothing really new because um, of the fact that you know this is you know this has always been done throughout the history even before the days of the internet you know where we really could express ourselves if you will you know this has been you know a part you know this has always been part of you know this has always been part of a fan base um, if you will so again it's nothing really new and you know, for, for people to kind of ask that question, not just of the Sonic fan base, but of Disney and, like I say, anime and manga and even video games, if you will, in general, again, it's nothing new. Because, you know, if you really, because if you really think about it, if anybody is to take the blame, honestly, um, for this being a thing, it's the artist. It's the artist that, you know, create that create the original concept designs for the female characters that lead inevitably to the finalized product or the finalized design they're the ones that if you really want to kind of put the blame on somebody or kind of ask what have you done you know to this fandom you know it's the people that originally designed the characters it's the people that originally designed the likes of let's say a Sally Acorn or a Bunny Rabbit it's it's people that create originally designed a Fondee or a Gadget Hack Wrench or a Cleo the Cat from Cadillac Cats of Heathcliff and Company of Heathcliff and Cats and Company you know it's it's the people that created uh, Callie Briggs or Felina Farrell and SWAT Cats things like that you know um, it's, it's those kind of people it's the people that create Jasmine and, and Ariel you know in the Disney movies like Little Aladdin and Little Mermaid you know it's those people that if you want to really, like I said, put the put the blame to, um, if you will, or ask the question of what have you done to this fandom, it's them. You know, they're the ones you should be, you know, kind of asking that question, or you should be pointing the finger if you feel like if you feel like it, or if they feel like it, and saying, why would you do this? Why would you design the character like this? And again, this is something that's been going on for as long as I can remember, even before I was born. You know, even before I was born. And that's a fact. Heck, you know, even when I was young, like four years old, we all know about Dragon Slayer, right? You know, Dra Dragon Slayer, right? We know about Princess Daphne and that. You know, Don Bluth created that game. He designed these characters. He designed Daphne, Princess Daphne, to look the way she did. And if you think the internet is ranking, you know, animated fictional characters by the beauty and the hotness and the waifu-ness now, just imagine what it would have been like back then. 
and again you know speaking of characters by the name Daphne Daphne Blake from Scooby-Doo can you blame anybody honestly with the original design and the more modernized version today no the, the fact of the matter is this is something that you know has been around since animation came into existence I mean heck Doug Walker the nostalgia critic uh, during his first couple of years did a top 12 list or top 11 list if you will of animated you know women of hot animated women and the number one choice he put up there was Jessica Rabbit who he just did a review whose movie she was in who's of uh, which the movie who framed Rachel Rabbit she was in he just reviewed heck he put April O'Neil on that list you kind of get what I'm saying Kinda of get what I'm saying? Heck, even with ponies, with My Little Pony, Rarity, Luna, if you will, um, Starlight Glimmer, you know, Applejack, e pony-wise or human-wise, you know, again, it's the way to design. They are basically designed to be not just a main character protagonist, um, if you will, in the show or in the series. But they're created to be the eye candy. They're the ones that basically grab your attention, if you will, whether you're male or female. They're the eye candy. You know, and it's all based on, on how they're designed. Again, you know, if you want to put the blame on anybody, I'll kind of ask, you know, what have you brought this fandom to? You know, ask it to those that originally designed the characters in the first place. Don't ask it to the fans that, you know, create, you know, tier list, you know, from tier, places like Tier Maker, you know, ranking characters from, you know, let's say, uh, just friends to, you know, super hot waifu -ness or whatever. Don't blame us. You know, don't blame us. Don't ask us, you know, oh, what did the fandom come to? Oh, why is this happening? You know, you know, what's gotten into people? Don't, don't blame us. You know, don't ask that. Don't ask. Don't ask us that question. Ask the people that originally designed these characters. Ask them. Put the blame of put the finger of blame on them if you want, but not on us. We're just being fans ourselves, having fun ourselves as fans, coming out and making these tier lists, making these ranking lists, if you will, these top eleven lists, these top ten lists, if you will. That's what. That's what we're doing. We're doing it as fans, and we're doing it for fun. But I thought I'd just get that off my chest. If anybody, you know, is questioning why we do it, you know, you know, what this or what has the fandom of any kind come to, you know, that's why. You know, that's why. Again, if you want to ask that question to anybody, or ask something similar in that matter to anybody, or even put the finger of blame on anybody, do it to those that originally designed the characters. Not to your fellow fans that are just having fun making these lists, if you know what I mean. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like, and I am out.